I'm doing a 180. Minutes. I want more graven images. I want <laughs> so many massive, beautiful, huge. I'm spending money like I just got paid. Hundred dollar bills, tell them keep the change. Come on. So the apocrypha has a word to say about that, by the way. Yeah. The idea that we are the image of God. Yeah, pop a bottle, about to make it rain. Let me give you something now to celebrate. Come on. We that cannot have that statue in Utah. No. Do you it's see what sweet. I see? Yes, I do. And if you're wondering why I move the way I do. I just feel so good. This just came to me all at once. Like a fully formed paragraph came to my head. We should make a golden calf. Yes. Guys. No. Um, I'm out. <laughs> okay. The grave, graven images. We often think, okay, well, pagans would just worship these images. But now we know through certain books like The Immortality Key, The Religion with No Name, that... Um, hallucinogenic substances were often tied with certain uh, graven images and statues because you know if you, I took this route, they had I could talk feet, with right. you know whoever, which is weird that it always worked, right? It's interesting that certain hallucinogenic substances that went along with statues. Oh, if I want to talk to Zeus, I know this will let me talk to Zeus, hmm. and everyone experienced that when they did. Shamanic, you know, this is kind of where shamanic traditions come from, but this seemed to be the case all over the world. But I wonder now. What is the spiritual inspiration behind some of the graven images and statues we have around our country? Um, you know, when you like when you, what graven images, like the Washington Monument, or what? no, no, what? no, like, like, um, because now with the internet and and this this transhumanist technological age we're now living in, we don't need to take hallucinogenic substances to connect to a certain spirit to to give us information. So if I go. When I see a George Floyd statue, I immediately know what that statue is now symbolizing and the spiritual impotence behind that statue because the creators of it came with a philosophy and a mindset of this is how the world must be. Look at this graven image. This graven image now represents us. And we know that because of the frequency of the Internet that's been created to tell we us don't, yeah, about the spirituality. Yeah, okay. Same thing with the Confederate statues, all that stuff. Maybe the reason she says thou shalt not make any graven images because he knows exactly what these graven images consist of and how exactly they're going to play out throughout history and how they're always going to end up in a, in a in a pretty negative way to humanity. Maybe it's more of like a prophecy. Don't make it because if you make it, it's going to break you. I think it might be somewhat to that. Mm. Well, there, mm. yeah, have you seen that super ugly and nasty um, statue that they're trying to build in the old uh, oh, in Draper Utah? prison site. Yeah, have you? Do you know what I'm talking they about? Keep trying Brad? to make that Bluffdale the lower giant Draper hand area look reaching good. out yeah, of the oh earth gosh, with the other hand reaching so down. And maybe, ugly. maybe he was like, "Thou shalt make any graven images." Look, some of it's just going to be is, ugly. There it is. Like, right some right of it's just look, ugly that's art. There's the no thing. That's the thing they want to build. Why? It's like a giant. <laughs> what? But it's got this weird ramble thing. I actually think it's kind of cool. If it were a little bit like not with the giant rainbow uh, like escalator thingy. But yeah, look, there's the old prison site right there. And they want to make a statue that looks just like this. I'm going to go to the foot. Yeah, there what? we are. Look at that thing. You know, they want it to be like a companion to the Statue of Liberty. And yeah. so they have these hands reaching down to lift up the hands. Look, up. look, I, it, I, I know exactly the statue we need in Utah. I'm not. This is even me making a joke. Really? Sorry, but I keep going. I know exactly what we need. You're going to be like, Quake, I agree. Do you ever think we have too much money? <laughs> Absolutely. You look at something like that and you're like, yeah. we just have too well, much money. Well, I mean, what, what's the point in a statue like that when we could just actually get back to solving the homelessness problem? Like, we were <laughs> doing well. <laughs> With until, the money uh, we were spending on the statue? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, it, the Housing the Homeless Initiative was doing so well until it like, sunsetted. And then our stupid legislature didn't do anything. To well, bring you know it what I just up. discovered? This is a super cool article. Just while we're getting ready for our next show, um, the ugliest statue in every state. <laughs> <laughs> look at this, dude. That is one ugly statue. Wait, uh, Field of Dreams in Iowa? That, I don't know. That's cool. Oh, but here's one: the Bull Weevil Monument in Alabama. They're claiming. <clears throat> oh, look at the Santa Claus statue in the North Pole. Oh, that looks like a giant paper mache. Oh, my goodness. Behemoth right there. And then here is Street Corner Glen Fry in Winslow, Arizona. Um, oh, boy. That makes more sense. I guess they tried to do that. Oh, what? my gosh. Look at Popeye the Sailor Man in Alma, Arkansas. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Do you guys follow Sad Guru? Yeah. Okay. And the Isha Foundation? Not the Isha Foundation. It's his thing. He created the Isha Foundation. It's basically like his kind of, like sort of like his Hare Krishna movement, like mm -hmm. his kind of 
sort of evangelism. Does he have though a red-eyed blue Mustang? Like oh, is that the, oh that's the Illuminati gosh. horse from the Denver airport. That's the Illuminati horse. What the heck? Heck? No, the, the what guy who made that the day after he finished it fell and killed him. What? what? The day after he finished building it, it fell. The red-eyed horse fell on top of him and killed him. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's that, the symbolism. That the airport blue sucks. Mustang. It's creepy, but they have this one restaurant, and I'm always happy to have a layover at that airport because it's this phenomenal macaroni and cheese with grilled chicken on top. It's well, look at these other great. two statues. Okay, so you got a turkey that's a little bit weird, but this that's one's strange. <laughs> in Delaware, oh my gosh! There's, yeah, that was, they, that was more that was a turkey. Uh, and I think that was a turkey. Uh, oh yeah, that, that's a turkey. Wait, and this is look. he's he's right. Jimenez, the sculptor, one of the three sections came loose in his studio, fell on him, severing an artery in his leg, and he bled to death on his studio floor. Yeah, dude. Yeah, how crazy is that? <laughs> That's wild. No, it's not. You're well, making an Illuminati look, Satan here's horse. A house, you don't think he's going to come to collect? <laughs> here's a house shaped like a dog. Here's literally a house shaped like a dog. It's called the Monkey Massacre Memorial in okay, Duluth. Okay, here it is. You see, wait, Cardin, turn, put the camera to me. I okay, want to see if yeah, I can get totally, this to... Totally, totally. You got to cover your face. Or else it'll focus yogi on your face. No, you have to use the phone to cover your face, bro. Use the phone oh, to cover oh. your face. Now put it forward. There we go. So mate. this... No, right. move, it, move the phone closer to the camera. What is... What is oh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Get statue. Closer, okay. Put it right in front of the lens. Someone's dude. profile. Yeah, All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is Isha Foundation. It's a giant, like twenty foot tall statue of Vish of Vishnu. I think. Okay. Okay. We'll get back next to the mic. And, and it's a giant. It's. it's a giant, like twenty thirty foot tall statue of Vishnu, just the bust. And it's it's on this open land. It's super beautiful, and they do like, these festivals outside of it. We need to have a giant Joseph Smith bust, <laughs> twenty foot by like. 15 foot huge Joseph Smith bus not that weird pyramid thing we have in like Sandy I'm talking like the Joseph of Egypt ugly ugh, monstrosity you mean the Sphinx the yeah that thing is sucks also Mount Rushmore's Mount Rushmore is also you ugly the we need a giant hey well look what made the no, list the Joseph Smith Sphinx made ugh. it in the list look yeah. what made the list okay so we've got a oh, giant God. fish here's the giant fish statue okay that is in Minnesota Here's the Glacier oh Gateway gosh. in Penguin. Oh, that's pretty bad. Oh, Here geez. is, I don't know what this is, but it looks like the most comfortable cardigan wearing, slack wearing 1980s uh, dude I ever saw in my life. And then boom, they put it in Tennessee, but I thought this was in like Taylorsville, oh, Utah or something like that. But the Joseph Smith thing. Oh, no, that's in Utah. That's Gilgal Gardens. That's Gilgal Gardens. Yeah, they yeah. Right? Whoever, yeah, whoever wrote this article put it in Tennessee, and I was like, no, nah, that's not nah, in nah, Utah. Nah. Yeah. Unless there's two. Uh, yeah, maybe there's, there's two. two. Who yeah. knows? And maybe that one's really a lot of Heartlanders vindicated. But how cool would that be, though? Imagine, though, a giant, beautiful, massive bust of Joseph Smith, like in Thanksgiving Point, and it's like that church could just do like the pageants again you know like something cool like that and could just op open on sundays i know it's a little idol worshipy no, you're just trying to make you know people mad. no 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 the no you're graven just... images you started off with we should stop making graven images <laughs> took a hard right into we need another golden calf a 20 foot tall head <laughs> then, of joseph and smith then ended the podcast saying it might be a little idol worshipy but <laughs> but you know here's what i'm saying i Look, Utah is going to have evil spirits anyway. I've been fun. to Utah Lake at night. It's creepy, okay? Utah, have you been to Saratoga Springs at night? That is demonic. Utah already has evil spirits. <laughs> what? We may how, how is that random accusation being thrown out and no one responded? That is well, you guys are just like, told, Saratoga at Springs night. at night is creepy. Eagle Mountain is creepy. You can feel evil spirits prove there. Prove them wrong, Brad. Prove so, them wrong. So all I, I'm saying- How do you wrong. prove that wrong? Have you not felt evil spirits there? In Saratoga Springs? Yeah. No. You not? Well, I've been well, there. I, 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 I've Because you're desensitized to them. That's Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. But so I am saying though, one- the Joe Smith bus will protect us for a couple of roads. One, it, get, it makes it more beautiful, gets rid of the ugly architecture in Utah. Two, no more werewolves because he's going to chase them out. Oh, and yeah. three, oh, okay, it's true. Cool, cool. No more werewolves. It's such a dub. It's such a dub. It's such a dub. <laughs> That's why you want it. You just want. You just want to dunk. You just want John DeLynn to lose his mind. So. I just want. really love the prophet Joseph Smith. I, do, I know. I, I have a friend who actually thinks <laughs> that we should take the no graven images much more seriously to the tune of we should not have any statues because you end up having people base their identities around statues in unhealthy ways, right? Where you end up yeah. having people like 
using them to divide each other. Dude, go to the south against each other. In the south, they're still fighting over the Confederacy, and they're like, I think some of these statues are. Hey, my dad, my granddaddy's farm. We fought to keep that farm. It's like. But dude, you, you have wasn't a Trump a farm. shirt on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was a plantation, not like, a farm. Yeah. But it's like, it, you have a Trump shirt on. Aren't you supposed to be an American patriot? You're cheering for the like <laughs> the, the insurrectionists or the last guy. Yeah, it's I've so always weird. thought I've always thought it's very odd. Like, I get that maybe all those who think it's cool to have a flag in the South view it as heritage, not hate. But at the same time, it's like you're the rebels that tried to destroy the union yeah and heritage overtake of what? It. like and, and, and even weird. if you just look at it from a military perspective it's like i don't think the second we defeat isis we should just be like oh yeah well pff, my dad fought for isis i'm gonna run the isis flag in my college dorm you know what i'm well, saying it's, 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 like, it's what? like the seceders it's like the people in texas you know who yeah. really opposes texas seceding who um the former military who live in texas they mm-hmm. hate it they, they it's a giant insult to them they're all because people Texans have always talked about seceding, even when I was growing up. And yeah. people in the military are like, You think I just went to Iraq and dodged bombs <laughs> and freaking had to yeah, co- yeah. take my buddies whose yeah. legs were blown off and have to talk to their wives about how their husband is yeah. dead? You think I went through all that? So your fat A can sit here and talk about how you want us to secede from the country I'm yeah. fighting for? And you get flag more money from- than you put in from the federal yeah, government. Yeah. So, so some just, of that, some yeah. of that folksy, like, it's, it is kind of. Well, like before we go anyway, because we got to start this other show, I found the final pictures. This is what they're proposing to do. In the uh, in the space that used to be the Draper, Holy cow. yeah, I don't, I can see how it's kind of cool, but at the same token, it's apparently been rejected by like th- two or three other states or something like that. I was listening to stories about other we can't have that. that said no. That we cannot is, have that statue in Utah. No. Do you it's see what sweet. I see? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's a, what a, a big that's that's part of the aversion that many people have had to it. And so, hey, um, me good. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Uh, so I don't know what we learned from this little banter we have here, other than it's because Utah wants to be. We want to be a northeastern Utah. Utah's northeastern transplants. That's who the pioneers were. We want to be a northeastern state so bad. That's why we're making all this money. We want to be like a Massachusetts, Connecticut. Yeah. Like we want to have money. our own Statue of Liberty. That's literally what this is. Too much money. Why is can't we have Moroni, the Statue of Liberty? A giant Moroni with a flag. We should just have just on the top of like I'm doing a 180. I want more graven images. I want (laughs) so many massive, beautiful, huge. I want when you're coming into Utah. I want, you know, in the the canal I want to blow up so the Vegas people can't get in. Yeah. I want to have a giant Joseph Smith (laughs) with (laughs) one leg on this side of the road, the other side of the road. (gasps) Oh, like like Lord of the Rings. Holding the plates. And it's like, welcome to Utah. You know, like, like I want it like, <laughs> like you know the, you the Colossus of Rhodes, the eight, the, except for the Colossus of Provo, the Colossus of Provo. Now, okay. here's the thing. Uh, it makes me think about the commandment, right? Like, thou shalt not make any graven images before thee. Like, is that talking about statuary? Is it talking more about the worship of things? Is there a way that we can justify architecture like that in a positive way? That doesn't go against that commandment, right? Yeah, I mean, we're not worshiping fallen angels like the the Jews were so like easy oh. to do back then during when they were obviously being led to the desert. Like okay. the Book of Genesis, uh, thus, uh, thus uh, giving us the Nephilim and the flood and everything is what you're referring to. Yeah, right? and, and the grave images were literally a, a a a pagan portal to be able to talk to these evil spirits. So, so I mean, it's it is much different. So now. the apocrypha has a word to say about that, by the way. Yeah. So the idea that we are the image of God. Right. That's very prominent in the books of Adam and Eve. Like you are God's image and your children are your image. Yeah. And so don't have a graven image means don't, you know, don't stop having a family so you can just make a bunch of money, pay a bunch of taxes and make huge, glorious, like self. I can't. I don't know if I was going to say, but, you know, self aggrandizing projects like a big hand statue in the middle of Draper. You should be at home. You should be raising your family. Mm. Create images of God oh, by having children instead of gr- engraving your images on these uh, finite right, things. I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. And I'm no, I'm not running for office. This is not me trying to light. He's running light for office. Oh, but boy. Oh, yes, he is. I'm just going to start. I, as a guy who's been <laughs> edit, blessed, get the edit, 14. edit, edit, log out. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look. <laughs> As a guy who's been blessed to be able to go all throughout Utah and do a bunch of cool events and meet a ton of different young people, I think it's a little bit unfair as how Utah takes all of the wealth and, and keeps it in a couple of different cities. 
Mm-hmm. Like we can't. We love building up Alpine and Lehigh and 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 the Provo area, and we love building up St. George. But what about Roy? What about Stansbury Park and Tooele? What about some of these other areas that get nothing? Hmm. You know, Fillmore and and all these areas that have been are kind of poor, and the poverty level is pretty high mm. and we don't care we don't give these people relief but we're always putting it in the same place to and 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 bringing in all these other people from the other states when you have a politician oh come look at how beautiful salt lake city yeah. is like, the vanity like, project it's yeah a vanity project like, let's yeah. take care of our brothers and sisters and 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 as opposed to being like oh you want to go to roy with all those rednecks it's like okay you know i i i even though it's an easy thing to make fun of the rednecks and we've all done it it's like at the same token, these are the these are people who are stuck in a system of poverty. There are brothers and sisters. Yeah. We should be helping them get educated, bring them. It's the same thing as like when you go to big cities and they have the ghettos. Like I don't want to go to the ghetto. It's like okay, these are human beings, yeah, and they have a lot of potential, and we should be doing something with our state to legitimately help bring these people up, mm-hmm. as opposed yeah. to adding everything into you think Alpine needs more money. You think Draper needs more money. South Jordan is set. Harriman is set. West Valley, give them a little more. These other, all, everything from south of Spanish Fork up to like Cedar City, that whole area is glossed over and there's a lot of poverty and it's yeah. really heartbreaking. All right. So yeah. I don't even know what we were talking about other than I, I took yeah, some notes. Quick, who for governor, Utah governor, Maybe 2025. I'll make this uh, members only content and the title is will that be even an We Need Let's More. Do it. We need more graven images. If I ran. We need more office. graven images. We need more graven images. If I ran for office, if I ran for office in Utah, can you believe how controversial that campaign would be? That would be, be hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm doing it now. Who am I going to run against? Dude, just do it as a troll. I'll run against you. Do it as Those a troll. Those are the options. People will be like, <laughs> like this is a plant. <laughs> I got to tell you, the second you run for office, the second you run for office, I know. I am installing the biggest locking system on my hard drives in my studio. Oh, you bet. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> bet. People are going to triple biometric. Oh, you bet. Well, here's the thing. I think Trump, pay, pay, even though I know this is technically not a podcast, but at this point, we can just upload it as riffing. I don't know. Yeah, whatever it is. You remember, the, but because you see those comments, people are like, I don't really have friends. When I watch it, it feels like I'm hanging out with friends. Yeah. Have you yeah, seen those comments? We get a lot of those, yeah. yeah. But last thing I'll say is, you know, I think, I think uh, uh, Daddy Trump paved the way. Because I have a Did lot you of just interest. Say Daddy Sorry, Trump. Daddy yeah, Trump. Daddy Trump. Um, oh, now you speak up. Like, <laughs> yeah. no, no. I, I mean, think about it. Like, like to be a politician before, you need to be polished. And if one thing went wrong, you were you were ruined. Yeah. But he kind of proved that. No, 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 no. If you just say a lot of crazy stuff, it's just as acceptable as being completely clean. It's kind of this weird thing. It's authentic. And 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 the people with a lot with new cool ideas. I mean, uh, 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 Andrew Yang before he you know started kissing the boot had a lot of interesting cool ideas. Tulsi Gabbard, he, he can out. still um, come back. He can still yeah, come back. Quick. Tulsi Gabbard, Tulsi yeah. Gabbard <laughs> needed to be a little less serious and Sleeping less when less we talk like, about this. Tulsi needed to be a little less serious and, and and like 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 a like a scary principal under the camera. And 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 you know, but there's a lot of interesting ideas and people. The, the next wave of, of future politicians have a lot of interesting ideas. So I think if I ever run, I'll be running against people with, with a lot of interesting ideas. But if I'm running against those like, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the BYU constitutionalist people, you know, oh, I'll, I'll cream them. Oh, they'll be done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, mop the floor. You know, and hey, the rights of the scrolls like that guy's a nerd. You're going to vote for that nerd. My question, though, is last question before we start this yeah. uh, other radio program. Um. Andrew Yang was famous for his math hat. That was his merch. Okay. Uh, Beto O'Rourke, for example, signed a couple of skateboards and, you know, had the Beto shirts. Uh, Famously, Donald Trump had the hat that said, make America great again. The red hat is now synonymous with Donald Trump. What would your merch be? Pearls? Are you going to have pearl necklaces that people give out? And if they're if they're mini Quakus, it's going to be Quakus pearls instead of the MAGA hat. It should be pearls and your motto will be elect me, you swine. (laughs) <laughs> ah, that's a good one. No, You're no, I'm, one. I'm not sure. I, uh, I have a couple ideas. Okay, I have a couple ideas that could because because. <laughs> could be I want. I think podcast. berets are cool. 
like military oh. berets, and you see a, cr- a giant crowd of people with berets and <gasps> the flags, Saudis have like, a, ber- a military beret. Yes. You're gonna run with a military <laughs> beret. Like I've seen this movie. This does not end well. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not like that way. I'm gonna be clean shaven and everything. You know, and like um, all my all my supporters will wear these really high boots. <laughs> you know, it's like really high. Boots. A couple of armbands. Yeah, arm oh, bands. No, you know, yeah. <laughs> no, I just a and a huge image of my head, a huge statue of my head. I just think it's kind of cool, and I think if I ever, let's like look. Uh, 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 I want to make sure I say her name right. Um, Kamala Harris, right? Yeah, Kamala yeah. Harris. It was Kamala for the people, but you know what? No one. It didn't that. really have like a like a you know, and then Jeb Bush, Jeb with an exclamation mark, terrible. Jeb, that wasn't fun. And then Trump Jeb. was like MAGA. You're like, it's fun to say MAGA, MAGA, make America great. It's like it's fun. CAG, keep America great, doesn't have the same you know, <laughs> but MAGA is good. I'm gonna run with the cool like it is going to be such an unavoidable well we found your national guard right there the saudi Saudi national guard they look good and when we went to saudi arabia we were processed and we literally (laughs) commented to the guys we're like dude you guys are all ridiculously handsome you know what i'm saying because these three just like totally strapping saudi guys come in they said and one of them was like two minutes late and he had his coffee and he looks around he sees that we're already in line he goes oh and he sips his coffee he says welcome to saudi arabia Hey, what's you know, the country, like what's the country awesome. that just elected that dude who looks like a school shooter? Wait, you're talking about Argentina? With yeah, that guy. Oh my like gosh. Dude, that no, guy no, looks like Edward. I want to see. That guy looks like Edward Scissorhands. Bring him up. That is a champion a of creepiest freedom. looking dude. He looks like a champion of freedom. Is this he a looks black like and white picture that Quick was. He looks out like about, if like, Thing what? One and Thing Two dyed their hair black. No, here we go. I think who you're talking about is. Javier I know precisely Miguel. who you're referring to. He does look exactly like all those things. <laughs> He's a he looks like Edward Scissorhands got old and ran for office. So okay, this. Is oh like, my gosh! That's not a flattering. <laughs> Bro, picture. that's a Whoa. villain in a movie. <laughs> okay, that's. Yeah. There's no way he's him? gonna do something horrible. Well, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> what is, what's the shadow behind him? What is the I picture? Don't know. That's a really, really. I put that up there because I knew you'd love it, dude. That's his lighting is, is so is, villainous. Yeah, that's what is this? Well, they hate him. This second picture. I wonder why. <laughs> this second picture is a little bit better. Okay. This but is the better picture. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, you have to. Oh no, no, that's a that's the Saudi National Guard back again. But no, he's a very handsome guy who's very well spoken. Very handsome. Oh man, but no. they they hate him because he's libertarian, so they try and always make him look bad, like putting that picture behind him. Oh my gosh! But no, Carden, he's very I'm erudite, sorry, I'm very sorry, well dude. Spoken. There is no trying to. This guy is a movie villain. You would, like and when him. he does something Strength. horrific, everyone's gonna go. Yeah, we should have seen that coming, considering he looks like that. Strength through unity. Unity through faith. Yeah. Um, remember, England prevails. So um, that's old V for Vendetta. So here oh, we What go. should my slogan be? Best of Javier Millier. Yeah, what Elect would, me, oh, you swine. What? Uh, if people are going to die, they're going to die. <laughs> just that quote. That this they guy was a total him, showman, bro. Just like you, he was into boxing. You know what I'm saying? What in is fact, it? Those sideburn? It's like a sideburn, blinking sideburns with Bieber hair. <laughs> they're they're yeah, super killer. No, but he's a good guy. And look, he even took a chainsaw on national television symbolically to everything that needs to get repaired. And I fixed know you're not about to Argentina. show me a video of this crazy dude. Yes, I am. Smiling with a chainsaw in his hand yeah, as if that makes him goes, normal. Here it goes. Oh, nope. Sorry. That's actually a Christmas commercial for some kind of super tool. But here we go. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Ba boom. Here you go. Sharply cut government spending and tackle the country's worst economic crisis. In- a massive political shakeup in Argentina. Argentina. Javier Malay, far-right economist and television personality, joined the political fray just three years ago. Now he's in charge of the third largest economy in Latin America. Yeah, now, of course, what they... they, about? they just won the World Cup. Wait, hold on, hold on. I actually turned actually turn down your microphone. What'd you say? I said, why, what are they angry about? They just won the World Cup. Yeah, exactly. It's won the World Cup. And by the way, he's actually libertarian. It's not far right. That's just a pejorative that the media says Aim. to anybody that doesn't believe. What Sorry. He says. Yeah. I'm going to let Quaku. time go. And I'm going to be in five page. years. I'm going to be well, they're like horrific massacre by the Argentinian president. No, that he's ar- as evil as he looks. This that is already, really that already happened by the Democrats down there. 
Democrats in Argentina? Yeah, it was called the military junta, and it was horrible. It was oh, the, the junta, worst, yeah. It was some of the worst human rights atroc- atrocities in South American history. They would kidnap women, abort their children, and sew ba- uh, ch- chickens inside so that they would die of bacterial poisoning. Oh, they my gosh. Take students from the university. The who is the who is the president had, of which country is it where he's rounding up all the MS-13 gangs? Um, oh, it's, uh, that guy's a BA. Oh, okay, um, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, Not rewind Nicaragua? to the chainsaw. Honduras. Go Honduras. back to this. Yeah, yeah. Here we the go. president of Honduras. Look, Cardin, hey, Quigu, look. Oh my God! <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, one more time, Quigu. One more. That time. was such a here's Johnny kind of face. <laughs> like <laughs> it's Argentina's currency. Yeah, here we go. One more time. One more time. Wow. Wielding a chain sword symbolizes war, ah! threatening vital public services, ah, yeah. and printing a picture of a U.S. Did dollar you? bill with his wow. face. Wow! Right, what a guy! Wow! A widely criticized campaign. Yeah, now sorry, wow. sorry, sorry. Yeah. Sometimes What's it looks like, like, like a duck and walks like a duck. In this case, it looks like a school shooter. And looks. best thing that happened to Argentina. Best thing that happened to Argentina in the past 120 years. Um, I will say though, yeah, no, uh, the Besides president of Honduras, Potter, that guy who's mm. roping up all the uh, the MS-13. Yeah, yeah. Th- that is like that man is a leader. It's right there. working. That is a leader. Really? It's. I mean, it's working. It's a horrible violation of people's human rights. But no, I'm it's sorry. Working. If you're an MS-13 and you are a gang that does what they do, these women and children. Millstones. I'm sorry. Yeah. Millstones. Like, like yeah. you, you know. And then, um, just to add in there. I don't know what's going to happen with, you know, how with, the, you know, the, the, the banana government in Mexico right now, because we kind of know who's calling mm. the shots there now. But like, this is why Texas can't secede, because the minute Texas secedes, it's Mexico. Mm. Like, I guarantee you those Mexican, the, the drug cartel Cartels. in Mexico is far tougher than any Texas militia. They're ruthless. Uh, I doubt that. All right. To be well, with you. a Texas militia, like you have to mm. realize who you're talking about here. You're talking I know. About- I grew up with these people. Okay. They they do nothing. They, it is we are the most overweight state. They do nothing but eat like Tex-Mex with queso deep fried. These people are not prepared for battle. Mm, it's it's all an act. They are not prepared for battle. Like okay. and they will get their butts right. handed to them. So anyway, I don't know what to call this. With people they got, I don't know what to call this. This is just random music. We need random more graven images. We need more graven images. Graven images. Okay, no. cool. Well, no. this was fun. Quick, we'll we, figure out your campaign start working slogan now? later. We start working now. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Oh, We're ready oh to go. I got it. What? Um, six Semper Tyrannus. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! This is over. We're done. So good.